Welcome to the Adriana Vineyard, which to me is the most beautiful place in the world. About 20 years ago, I came to this place and saw that there were some parts of the vineyard where the vines were growing and thriving and other parts where they looked so sad. And I asked the viticulturist, what's going on? And he said, if I could replant this vineyard, I would pull out all the vines, mix the soil with a bulldozer and then replant. The soils were completely different from one place right here to five feet away. By studying the soils, we realized that there's actually not just one vineyard here. There's 300 vineyards and each one of these little parcels needs to be farmed separately to reach its full glory. Luis, I've always wondered if the mineral taste in these wines has to do with these stones and you know the studies show that actually the plants don't absorb these minerals but I've always had that question so I'm going to give it a little taste. How is it? It tastes like <laughs> earth. <laughs> What we're doing here is we're actually studying the rhizobacteria which live in the roots and help the vines survive in this very dry climate. After a couple days, we got this, the amazing rhizobacteria of the Adriana Vineyard. The vineyard is alive. To make great wine, we need to promote the health of everything from the microorganisms in the soil that help the roots absorb the nutrients to the fungi to the little ants that eat the organisms to the little owls that dig deep and allow for oxygen and water to go into the soil if we did not have this whole ecosystem here we could not make great wine if we understand why the microbes are important why the soil is important why the sunlight intensity here at high altitude is important then we can preserve it we call this catenomics, this philosophy of doing everything we can to preserve what's special and what we treasure in our own land. These microbes, these insects, these vines, they are Argentinians, just like I am. <laughs>